Good day everyone, this is Mom Sheila Arfer at your service. Today, I am here to help you with the lessons in Mathematics Grade 9 and we are going to start with Module 1 that is about Quadratic Equations. Are you guys ready? The first lesson in Module 1 is about illustration of Quadratic Equations. Do you know what it means? If not, you don't have to worry. I am here to help you understand what Quadratic Equation is. So, let's start. To begin with, let us have a review on linear equations. It is necessary for you to review on this topic because your knowledge and understanding with this topic will help you understand quadratic equation better. Now let us start with question number one. Linear equations are equations in blank degree. Is it first, second, or third? Yes, linear equations are equations in the first degree. Again, the degree of equation depends on the highest exponent. And first degree equation means the highest exponent must be 1. Let us move to question number 2. Which among the equation is a linear equation? x squared plus 2x equals 0. x times the quantity x plus 1 equals 0 or 2x plus 5 equals 0. Good, 2x plus 5 equals 0 is the only linear equation among the given. The first equation, x squared plus 2x equals 0, is not a linear because obviously we have here an exponent of 2. x times the quantity x plus 1 equals 0 is also not a linear equation because when we expand the expression, it will result into another form of equation. Now let us have question number 3. The graph of a linear equation is a blank. Is it a parabola, a straight line, or an ellipse? Correct. The graph of a linear equation is actually a straight line. I think you are now ready to learn about quadratic equations. So what is quadratic equation? A quadratic equation is an equation of degree 2 that can be written in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. It is mentioned that the quadratic equations are equation of degree 2 or second degree equations. So what does it mean? Good. Second degree equations mean that the highest exponent must be 2. Now, why a cannot be equal to 0? It is because if a is equal to 0, the equation becomes linear. Before we continue with our discussion, let me try first if you already understand the definition of quadratic equation. As you can see, we have 8 equations on the screen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. This equation could be either linear or quadratic. Now let me see who can identify a quadratic equation from the list. Yes, x squared minus 5x plus 3 equals 0 is a quadratic equation. It can be seen clearly that it is in the second degree because the highest exponent is 2. Another, yes, t squared minus 7 plus 3t equals 0 is also a quadratic equation. 9r squared minus 25 equals 0 is also a quadratic. As you can see here, we only have 1, 2 terms. But remember, regardless of the number of terms, as long as it is in the second degree, the equation can still be considered a quadratic one. Do we still have a quadratic equation among the list? Good. Quantity x plus 4 times the quantity x minus 4 equals 0 is a quadratic equation. At a glance, it seems to be linear. 
But as you can see, the expression x plus 4 multiplied by the quantity x minus 4 can be expanded. And if we do so, yes, it will result to a quadratic equation. And lastly, x times the quantity x plus 5 equals 3, if expanded, will result to a quadratic equation as well. So among the list, we have five quadratic equations. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now how about the remaining equations? 2s plus 3t equals negative 7. 8k minus 3 equals 12. And c equals 12 and minus 5 are all examples of linear equations. I think you are now ready for the continuation of our lesson, so let us continue. In the quadratic or in the equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, ax squared is the quadratic term, bx is the linear term, and c is the constant term. The equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 is the standard form of a quadratic equation. In standard form, it is written in this manner. You are going to write the quadratic term first, followed by the linear term, then the constant term equals 0. Did you get it? Let us have an illustrative example for you to understand better. Let us have example number 1. x squared minus 5x plus 3 equals 0 is a quadratic equation in standard form. In the equation, x squared is the quadratic term, negative 5x is the linear term, and 3 is the constant term where a equals 1, b equals negative 5, and c equals 3. Where did we get the values of a, b, and c? The value of a is actually the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term. b is the numerical coefficient of the linear term. And C is the constant term itself. Did you get it? If not, you don't have to worry. We still have more examples ahead of us. Let us have example number 2. T squared minus 7 plus 3T equals 0 is a quadratic equation. But it is not written in standard form. Why? If you are going to look at our equation, the constant term is written before the linear term. Remember, the standard form must be the quadratic term first, followed by the linear term, then constant term equals zero. Then how are we going to write it in standard form? To do that, you are just going to exchange the position of the constant term and the linear term. So the standard form of the equation is t squared plus 3t minus 7 equals 0, wherein t squared is the quadratic term, 3t is the linear term, and negative 7 is the constant term, where a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3, and c is equal to negative 7. Again, the value of a is the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term. B is the numerical coefficient of the linear term, and C is the constant term itself. Let us consider the next equation. 9R squared minus 25 equals 0 is a quadratic equation in standard form, but there is no linear term. Now, even though we do not have a linear term or a constant term or either the linear and constant term, an equation is still a quadratic equation if the highest exponent is 2. And in our quadratic equation, 9r squared is the quadratic term, and negative 25 is the constant term, where a equals 0, a equals 9, b equals 0, and c equals negative 25. b is equal to 0 simply because we do not have a linear term. Sometimes, a quadratic equation doesn't look like one. Example, quantity x plus 4 times the quantity x minus 4 equals 0 is a quadratic equation. However, it is not written in standard form. 
to write it in standard form, expand the product. If you are going to look carefully, the expression x plus 4 times the quantity x minus 4 is an example of a special product, specifically sum and difference of two binomial. So how are we going to expand this expression? We are just going to follow the rule of sum and difference of two binomial. And the rule is squared first term minus and then square the last term. The first term is x and the square of x is x squared minus the second term is 4 and the square of 4 is 16. So the standard form is x squared minus 16 equals 0 where x squared is the quadratic term and negative 16 is the constant term where a is equal to 1 b is equal to 0 and c is equal to negative 16. Again, we do not have a linear term, so b is equal to 0. Our last example is the same as the last one. It doesn't look like a quadratic equation. Let us see. x times the quantity x plus 5 equals 3 is a quadratic equation. However, it is not written in standard form. To write it in standard form, you are going to expand the product and make one side of the equation equal to 0. The expression x times the quantity x plus 5 equal x plus 5 can be expanded by applying distributive property. And if we do that, we have x times x, so that's x squared, and then x times positive 5, that is 5x. It is said that we have to make one side of the equation equal to 0. In order to do that, we are going to apply the addition property of equality. And how are you going to do it? You are just going to add negative 3 on both sides of the equation to make this part be equal to 0. And if we do that again, the resulting equation is the standard form, which is x squared plus 5x minus 3 equals 0. Where x squared is the quadratic term, 5x is the linear term, and negative 3 is the constant term. Where a is equal to 1, b is equal to 5, and c is equal to negative 3. At this juncture, I guess you already have you already know what quadratic equations are. You can write it in standard form. You can already identify the quadratic term, the linear term, and the constant term. And you can also identify the values of A, B, and C. For the last part of our instructional video is the practice exercise. Of course, we need to assess if you understand quad what quadratic equation. And for our exercise, you have to complete the given table and as you can see, number one, the answers in number one is provided for you so that you can refer to it. Now, 16 plus 5x squared equals 1 is written in standard form as 5x squared plus 15 equals 0. And from the standard form, you are going to identify a, b, and c. So a is equal to 5, b is equal to 0, and c is equal to 15. So you can now start answering. Good luck. I know you can do it. Again, this is Mom Sheila signing off. Thank you for watching.